Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arcane, myself Arnab Kundu. This is the continuation part of C language. Today I will discuss user defined data types in C. Basically there are three types of user defined data types. One is structure, other is union and last one is enum. Okay, so I will discuss elaborately today. So go to the computer screen. So there are basically three types of user defined data types. One is structure, and that is your union, and another is your enumeration or ina. So at first we discuss the structure. Okay. So structure is a user-defined data types in C language. Structure can have elements of different types. We have to design and declare a data structure before the variables of that type are declared and used. Okay. So go for an example. Suppose we at first write the header file hash include stdio.h. And then we define the structure template. So struct is a keyword. And suppose we provide the name. So here code is your tag name. Okay. And suppose here we write int a. And after suppose write float to b. And again suppose we write int c. Okay. So simple we define here three members. Two integer and one is float. Okay. And after we write here the void main. And just... As a body of the void main, the first statement should be the variable of the structure. So just write struct code, the tag name, and just provide the variable name b1. So b1 is a structure variable. And suppose here we write printf, enter the values, means we want to enter the values through user input. Okay. So after provide the semicolon and just scan it so first one is your integer second one is your float and third one is again your integer and when you put scanf so just provide ampersand now how we access the member so the accessing the member should use the variable name dot member name so variable name is b1 and the member first is a so b1 dot a second one ampersand b1 dot b next ampersand b1 dot c okay and after we just put the semicolon here okay and now we want to print it just write printf and just write here a equal percent d new line just put here b1 dot a and just provide the semicolon here and next again write down printf b equal percent f new line comma and b1 dot b okay and after again we put here the semicolon and last one printf c equal percent d new line and then provide b1 dot c and then put the base close and then put the semicolon okay now we save that file so just put a name example 52.c is a source file c source file that's why it should extend it should be dot c now you execute this c source code so this is the prompt is there enter the values suppose for example at first we provide 10 then provide suppose 2.4 and the next suppose provide 35 and press enter so we got the result a equal to 10 b equal to 2.4000 is a floating point and after again the integer c equal to 35. So in that way, we can take inputs within a structure and how we can access the member of the structure just using the variable name dot the member. Now, suppose here we write type dip, type dip and suppose just this code is just removed from there and just put here code, simple. Suppose we write the coding C in capital letter, okay? And then we don't need to provide this struct here, okay? So type def struct, and after that, if we save that file and execute it, so what happened? Same way it is going on, suppose provide 12, 34.90, suppose 89, and press enter, so we got the result. Actually, type dev what happened? It will reduce the code. Means we don't need to write struct code b1. 
if we do type def struct so what happen struct code is automatically come in form of code so don't need to provide the struct keyword here so in that way we also define your structure using this type def keyword okay now I'll go for the another example for the another user defined data type is an union okay actually union are the concept borrowed from the structure and therefore they have the same syntax as the structure okay so there is a major distinction between them in term of storage in structure each member has its own storage location whereas all the members of a union use the same location that implies that union may contain many members of different types but it can handle only one member at a time means whatever the members you are defining a structure they are separately allocate in memory but whenever you define the member within an union the highest size of the member allocate the memory and all the other member just used it that means at a time we never access all the member so that's why sharing of storage location is done by the union okay so go for an example suppose again we take the header file hash include stdio.h and now we define the union so just write union so union is your keyword and after we provide the tag name same way suppose provide code and same value we are providing int a float b and again int c okay and now we define our main function and now suppose we define the union variable so just write union code b1 okay now what happen suppose we write here b1 dot a equal 10 and after that you should use it before do the another variable is concerned so in that case just write a equal percent d new line and after just write b1 dot a same way as the structure is concerned okay and put a semicolon here and again after write b1 dot b suppose 34.66 and then just suppose print f and just write b equal percent f is a floating point and after suppose we write here b1 dot b okay and after here put a semicolon and at last write b1 dot c equal suppose provide 45 and then again print it so write c equal percent d new line and just write b1 dot c okay and then just put the semicolon here okay now we save that file so put a name example 54.c and press enter now we execute this c source code so what happened same way the result is provided into there but what happened at a time we never access each and every variable because the member of that union is just shared the memory okay now we talk about the enumeration or enum which is also a user defined data types in c language it is mainly used to assign names to integer constants the name make a program easy to read and maintain okay so go for an example suppose here we write the header file hash include stdio.h and then suppose we define the enumerator so just use enum so enum is a keyword and after that suppose we provide a tag name boolean okay and then just provide the value just write false and just write true okay and after what happened we are just provide the semicolon same way as a structure and union is concerned void main and within this main function we are just write enum boolean b1 so b1 is the variable of that enumerator or enum okay and after suppose write b1 equal false because so now b1 have two values one is false and that is true so just we are assigned b1 equal to false okay now if we check if b1 equal equal 0 and then just write printf it is false and provide a new line 
okay and else just write printf it is true and provide a new line okay now simple save it provide a name example 55.c press enter execute this c source code so what happened it is false actually what happened internally this value are represented by two byte integer numbers by default these numbers start from zero so that means the false value is zero thus first value in the list is represented by number zero the second value is one and so on however we can override those default numbers by specifying each number for each value okay so suppose here we write false equal to two so what happen if we execute this c source code so what happen it's a true why because now false value is two so it's check b1 equal equal zero it's a false that's why it's go to the else part and it prints it is true okay i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquin thank you and bye bye